Berlin, a big city with many exciting places to see. But how do we orientate ourselves in our environment? In 2014, the Nobel Prize was awarded for the study of this question. The research group of Michael Brecht at the Bernstein Center Berlin works in this field as well. Eine der wesentlichen Erkenntnisse aus den letzten Jahrzehnten ist, dass es besondere Hirnsysteme gibt, die an der Orientierung im Raum beteiligt sind. Die endoronale Hirnrinde die ist in den letzten zehn Jahren im Fokus der Forschung gerückt, weil man eben gemerkt hat, dass da Zellen sind, die entscheidend an der räumlichen Orientierung beteiligt sind. In der endoronalen Hirnrinde gibt es Sternzellen und Pyramidenzellen. But which one of these two cells helps our brain to generate a kind of mental map? Scientists in Brecht's group have now become closer to an answer. Till now it was the dogma that the stellates are the more important cells found in this region, since they are kind of less common. But we decided to take a closer look. The scientists thoroughly examined the cells in the entorhinal cortex of the rat. Using a process called immunohistochemistry, they first visualized the anatomy of both cells. For this, they incubated thin brain slices with a fluorescent protein. This protein binds in pyramidal cells, but not in stellate cells. Using a fluorescent microscope, the researchers then made the pyramidal cells visible. What we saw was astonishing. We see a special arrangement of the pyramidal cells, and they were arranged in a hexagonal pattern. We know from past studies that in the medial intrinal cortex, there are certain type of nerve cells that will discharge in a grid-like pattern. If we place a dot at the locations a single neuron fires whilst we walk down the street, these dots would form the vertices of a hexagonal grid. For this, the neurons are called grid cells. Interestingly, the hexagonal pattern does not derive from any regularity in the environment. We do not know what makes the neurons behave this way, or if they belong to a known type of nerve cell. But our finding mean that the pyramidal cells are the candidate of the mysterious grid cells? The researchers tried to gather proof for their hypothesis. For this, they took a look at how the neurons communicate with their neighboring cells. Neurons do this by releasing chemical substances at special contact points, or synapses. The substances are called neurotransmitter. There are many different types of them, however, they all interact with the neurons that have receptors for them. As a consequence, the neurons fire a signal. The grid cells receive a lot of cholinergic input, which is mediated by acetylcholine. And this acetylcholine actually makes the grid cells fire in a certain rhythmicity. The scientists now had to prove that the pyramidal cells use the same neurotransmitter. Again, they applied the immunohistochemistry technique. This time, they stained the acetylcholine transporter in the brain slice. They saw both the pyramidal cells and acetylcholine transporter happened to be in the same patch. What was really cool was it was the pyramidal cells which got the cholinergic inputs, which would mean that they should fire at this particular frequency. To analyze this, the scientists trained rats to explore an open field. The training took a couple of weeks. Just like some humans, rats do not like crossing an open field. Also, the activity of grid cells becomes more defined in well-known places. After the rats were trained, the researchers recorded the activity of their neurons. In doing so, they looked for the special grid cell rhythmicity while the rat was moving. Later, they labelled the cells that had shown this frequency. This allowed them to identify the cells in the microscope, 
and see if they were actually pyramidal cells. The first couple of cells actually fit our hypothesis really well. And then one or so went the other way. So we did not know if our experiments would work out. We were always hinging on, hey, what's going to happen next? But our results became stronger and stronger and confirmed the hypothesis the more experiments we did. This was the final evidence that the mysterious grid cells are most likely pyramidal cells. With this new result, the scientists challenge an old dogma. By showing that pyramidal cells are aligned in a hexagonal pattern, they also give a hint how the brain constructs an abstract mental map that helps us to orientate in space, eventually allowing us to find the places we would like to see in unfamiliar cities.